The unique timepiece has arrived in the mail that I'd love to share with you. Standard package. Always nervous when I open these. But, uh, thank you. It's, I'm not cutting into it. Okay, so here we go. All wrapped well, thankfully. Feels a little loose and sounds a little loose. So what do we have here? If you haven't made it out by now, it's a stopwatch, but with a few unique differences. Okay, is it a crystal? Seems to be a snap-on style. Hands a little loose. Uh, hopefully, it hasn't bent the hands. It's looking okay. The crystal looks pretty clean and intact. But the dial, as you'll see in the close-up picture, is a little bit worse for wear, but here's the beauty. There's an inscription on the back. And um, definitely a well-used stopwatch. Uh, it'll just snap on like that, but uh, I'm hesitant to try right now. So we'll leave it for the close-up photos. Okay, so porcelain dial. It's quite damaged, but it's got beautiful steel blue hands. Swiss made note on the dial, but here it is. Dunlop Rubber Co Limited number 199. If only the stopwatch could talk. Um, you can only imagine what this was used for. Production line, performance testing, who knows, but um, definitely a beautiful piece of history linked to a big company. So it's got a dust cover intact, a serial number there, ending in 83, as you'll see um, in the future picture to come, the serial number on the case back and the dust case match, which is a nice um, feature and um, a relatively clean looking movement. And, and I quite like the serial number on the bridge there. But this stopwatch currently isn't working, but I'm in love with it anyway. What a tool timepiece. Linked to a big company, 